Good morning, dear students. This is Teacher Dolphy, and you are welcome to our YouTube classroom. If you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe now and also click the notification bell so you will be notified when a new video is uploaded. Our topic today is Rational Functions, Equations, and Inequalities. For our objective, by the end of this discussion, you are expected to distinguish rational function, rational equation, and rational inequality. I'd like us to start with this simple classification game. Classify and group these according to their similarities. So you have here nine items that you are going to group according to their similarities. You may take time, you may pause the video and try to classify it before we look at the answers. I give you some time to arrange them. So here are the answers. I have grouped this into four categories or groupings. We have here the first one, and this one is called rational expressions. Rational expression is a ratio or quotient of two polynomials. If you look at the first one, you have here 2x squared plus 1 all over x minus 4. And the numerator is a polynomial of degree 2, and this denominator is a polynomial of degree 1. The other item is this one. So the degree is 3 here, the highest exponent, and we have a denominator of x that is of degree 1. The second grouping is this one, and this is a rational function group, okay? Remember, we have discussed in the previous lesson that a function is denoted by this f of x, or you may also denote it as y, okay? You have here a rational expression, okay? So we have f of x equal to 4x plus 13 all over 2. And you have here y is equal to negative 1 over 2x plus 5. Now, these are rational functions. We have the third group. And they, these are three items. And these are rational equations. Okay, you have here equality sign. Okay. And if you try to differentiate between rational function and rational equations, both have equality signs here. Okay. However, for a rational equation, we have two sides of rational expressions. You have here 2 is equal to x plus 1 all over 2x minus 3. You have x plus 5 all over 3 is equal to 5x minus 1 all over 4. So, two sides of rational expressions. And then this is another expression, rational expression, equal to this rational expression. In the rational function, you have a rational expression on one side and f of x or y on the other side. The last grouping, we have this group and this is called the rational inequalities. This is signified by the inequality sign. So you have less than or this is yes less than or equal to sign here and you have the greater than sign here. You have one rational expression and another rational expression on the other side on the right side. Okay and these are separated by the inequality sign. Okay to clarify this definition we have this table here so we have a rational function of the form f of x is equal to p of x over q of x, where p of x and q of x are polynomials, and q of x is not the zero function. So we have here an example, g of x. Okay, We have this another notation now, g of x equals x squared plus 6x minus 8 all over x plus 4. Notice that I have colored this red because we have to make sure that this denominator x plus 4 should not be equal to 0. So that's for a rational function. 
For a rational equation, these are equations involving rational expressions. So when you say equation, these are signified by the equality sign here. Okay, and then we have rational expressions on the left side and rational expression on the right side. That is a rational equation. Now let's have the rational inequality. This is an inequality involving rational expressions. So we have here an example, x minus 2 over 5 is greater than 3. Okay, so we have this rational expression here, and then you have the inequality sign, and this is uh, 3. Okay, can 3 be considered a rational expression here? Okay, yes, this one is a rational expression also. It can be expressed with the denominator of 1. And this can be considered a polynomial of degree 0. Therefore, this is rational expression. And the whole thing is a rational inequality. Let us discuss these examples. Determine whether the given is a rational expression or not. Let's have number 1, x minus 5 all over x squared plus 8. Is it a rational expression or not? Remember that a rational expression is a ratio or quotient of polynomial functions. So x plus 5 here, the numerator is a polynomial, and x squared plus 8 is also a polynomial. Now this is a ratio or a quotient of polynomials. Therefore, this is a rational expression. Number two, we have the square root of x plus 7 all over 5x plus 12. Now, in the numerator, you have the radical sign. This means that the exponent of x here plus 7 is 1 half because this one is the square root of x plus 7. Okay, and this is not a polynomial. We have the numerator, not a polynomial, and the denominator, a polynomial. Since this does not satisfy the definition for rational expression, which is a ratio of polynomials or a quotient of polynomials, then therefore number two is not a rational expression. Number three, we have two all over, all over 3 plus x squared minus x. Okay. Again, 2 here is a constant, but this is considered a polynomial of degree 0. And then we have 3x squared minus x, so another polynomial. Therefore, number 3 is a rational expression. Number 4, x minus 5. So if you notice, this has no denominator, x minus 5, and there is no denominator. However, okay, in mathematics, we have an imaginary de denominator of 1 here. So, we can say that x minus 5 all over 1. So, we have here 1, which is the denominator, and also considered a polynomial function of degree 0. Therefore, number 4 is considered a rational expression. Let's have another example. Let's have this example. Determine whether the given is a rational equation, a rational function, rational inequality, or none of these. Let's have number one. We have this one. x squared minus 2x plus 1 all over x less than 5. Before you determine whether this is a rational equation, rational function, or rational inequality, you have to check the, the both sides first if they are rational expressions. Okay, so we have the first side. This is a rational expression. Again, this is a rational expression, and we have the inequality sign here. Therefore, we have rational inequality. Number two y equals 2x squared minus 1. So you have here 2x squared minus 1 with an imaginary denominator over 1. Okay, And you have here equals and y which is an indication of function. 
since this is a rational expression and the y indication of function and the equality sign here, then we have a rational function. Number three, we have f of x equals 2x all over the square root of x minus 1. Now you have the indication of function f of x, you have the equality sign. Let's check if this is a rational function. 2x is a polynomial function. So that is satisfied. Until we have here, we again have a radical expression, which is not a polynomial. Therefore, number 3 is considered none of the choices, or we are, our answer is none of these. Number 4, we have 4x minus 1 all over 5 equals x over 2. So we have here Yes, this is a rational expression. We have an equality sign and another rational expression. Therefore, this is a rational equation. Lastly, we have 4x plus 3 over 3x. There is no equality sign. There is no inequality sign. Okay, therefore, yes, this is just a rational expression. And our answer is none of these. I hope everything is clear in this lesson. So it's your turn now. Please do your homework given in the weekly home learning plan. So God bless you guys. Have a great day.